Time now for the morning rush. Right now, investigators have reopened a busy west side intersection after a deadly pedestrian crash. Officers say the pedestrian was hit early this morning at Coors and Ellison. They were taken to the hospital and later died. Now, the area was closed due to, uh, for drivers, but again, has since reopened in all directions. Chris. Let's take a look at that monsoon meter today. It's going to be at a three, so on the low end, and that's because we're seeing a little bit of drying out across northern New Mexico as well as southern Colorado. Best chance for storms across the south and the east. Crystal. Servers this morning from state police are looking for those of you serving underage drinkers. Recently, police sent teens into bars and Santa Fe restaurants and stores. They were told to use their actual IDs and tell the truth about their ages if they were asked. Ten servers didn't check, four others did, but served the teens anyway. Former New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson is speaking out this morning, trying to distance himself away from Jeffrey Epstein. The journal reports that the former governor list is listed as one of the many well-known people in Epstein's court records. His spokesman clarifies the meeting happened years before the accusations against Epstein came out. Secretary of State Maggie Tolus Oliver says she wants to get rid of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency. Tolus Oliver is accusing the agency of undermining community safety and stability. She's now calling for them to overturn the responsibilities to the FBI. This as ICE raids have been going on around the country. An arrest warrant remains in effect for 19-year-old Yareles Cespedes. This after the deputies say that she allegedly recorded a video of a 13-year-old girl engaging in a sexual act with a man. That video was spread among students at Cespedes' request. She is now facing charges of manufacturing and distributing child pornography. Today, state regulators are trying to recover funds stolen from special needs New Mexicans. Paul Donisthorpe is serving 12 years in prison for stealing nearly $7 million while running Desert State Life Management from clients. Now, a state agency is managing a quarter million dollars for around 60 clients of that fund. An update on the ART project is set to come from the city today. The city's chief operating officer will join APD to discuss the start of driver training and also touch on the launch of the education efforts to get drivers ready to navigate through the ART lanes. The update is set for 10 a.m. We will be there and bring you updates on air and online at krqe.com. Chris. Let's get a look at that Metro Threat Index today. We have it on the low end. It's at a 1, and that's because we're going to see hot afternoon temperatures in the upper 90s here. Make sure you're staying hydrated and wearing that sunscreen. Crystal? White House will soon head to court defending its new asylum rules. The ACLU and other groups filed a lawsuit yesterday trying to block the rules, which would prevent most migrants from seeking protection as refugees if they pass through another country first. The new rules went into effect earlier this week. New numbers are out and they're showing dogs and cats arriving at the two city shelters are the lowest that they've been in years. Now back in 2007, more than 27,000 dogs and cats were taken into the city shelters. But in the last year, those numbers are down below 15,000. The Animal Welfare Department credits responsibility and lower pet costs as explanations for those numbers. A dream come true for one Santa Fe artist, Victoria de Alameda, stopped painting two years ago when her teen son was diagnosed with cancer. She says the movie Bohemian Rhapsody inspired her to paint an Alice in Wonderland themed portrait of the band. Queen's fan club president saw it and helped get her a meet and greet. MDC is hosting a hiring event today. It's happening at the American Legion Post 13 from 10 this morning until 1 in the afternoon. Applicants can speak with MDC recruiters all about the many roles of the facility, and the recruiters will also have more info, including new bonuses for corrections officers. We posted more information at alwaysonkrqe.com. In the meantime, the Albuquerque Football Officials Association is looking for game officials, no experience necessary. The association says they will train those interested. The position is paid on a per-game basis. Beer enthusiasts can now try the first brew ever for officially released by CNM students. Two years ago, students in CNM's brewing program brewed 20 gallons of a sour beer. It's been fermenting ever since. Now, last night, it was put on tap for the first time at Sidetrack Brewing and served to the public. The school plans to release one beer at the brewery every semester. The city of Rio Rancho will soon give citizens a look at what it takes to run the city. Officials are hosting the Rio Rancho 101 Citizens Academy this fall. Now, the free eight-week course includes tours of city facilities, presentations by department directors, and an inside look at how the city operates. For more information, you can see that at alwaysonkrqe.com. New this morning, this week, teams from around the globe are working together at a camp in Albuquerque to become the future of the ballooning industry. Campers get hands-on training from certified instructors and the chance to pilot the balloons themselves. They also spend time in the classroom learning everything from weather to competition. 
Tonight, the Albuquerque Topes and Fresno Grizzlies set to face off for the third game in a four-game series. This comes after the Topes pulled off a win last night. MLB veteran Yonder Alonso driving in a run and scoring one for the Topes. The Topes win this one 7-2. Tonight's game is at 6:35. Chris. So let's get a look at that morning drive. Everything looking pretty nice. No major accidents reported. Now we have a little bit of a slowdown near Coors due to an accident that has been cleared, but everything else looking nice. Taking a live look at the big eye as that sun rises over the city. Nice out there. Everything moving pretty smoothly. Crystal. Today is World Emoji Day. Apple giving the world a sneak peek at some of the new emojis the company's working on. The tech giant set to release 59 new emojis this fall. They do include a slew of new food, a flamingo, a sloth, and smiley face choices. Apple also plans to release disability-themed emojis with prosthetic limbs and even a guide dog. How cool is that? Yeah.